Netcetera is a custom software development company, so we develop software for our clients. We uh, have 400 employees in six different countries. We produce software for the entire IT lifecycle, from strategy to implementation and operation. Like, for example, the track management of the Swiss railway and credit card payment systems. But we also do more lightweight stuff like apps and websites. So custom software is what we do. The Setra website is important for us because it represents what we are doing. So we want to develop quality software, so we also want to have a high quality website and want to showcase that we are capable of doing a great web-based software. We are uh, very satisfied with our new website. For me as a user it's very easy to make some adjustments in the CMS. All in all we are very happy. It was quite interesting because we first planned the website and we had this information architecture in mind that was more like network-like, no hierarchical structure. And then uh, we found out that Magnolia 5 offers content apps and those content apps are perfect to do such a navigation. At Netcetera I'm an internal customer. The development was like uh, an agile process. So first we built this information architecture and then step by step we developed it with the back-end and the front-end team together. What I like mostly about Light Development is that it helped us integrating front-end development with back-end development. And because it was a success and we saw that we can use for our other project, we are using the same approach for EVB. IWB had a quite tight timeline and I I think light development helped us to, to stay within the timeline because we could work in parallel and only with that we could be on time and on budget. Working with light development uh, helped us introducing new employees to the project in a faster way and also saved us lots of time. We had three different types of developers working closely together. So we had uh, Angular developers, which did Angular and Energy Calculator apps. We had front-end developers doing the, the actual HTML CSS code. And we had back-end developers working uh, with Magnolia and Java. And they could work so easily together because everything is file-based, because everything is in the same repository. We are using uh, the same source to, to build our stuff. So there's no kind of forking of uh, front end and, and, and Magnolia and like you had in the past. So having things on, um, on the file system is a huge advantage because we can see things, um, we have everything checked in and we can see things at the moment, we can see things now. Pattern Lab is a, a living style guide, so you have all your front-end components together and you can have a look at it before you integrate them into your software. And we developed Hibiscus, which is kind of a bridge between Pattern Lab and Magnolia. And light development made it quite easy because you can integrate such front-end centric node-based processes into, into Magnolia quite easy now. And so Pattern Lab allows us to develop components as front-end components first and as integrate them afterwards into Magnolia, but it also allows us to go the other way around. So we can develop the Magnolia part first with some simple basic HTML and then afterwards the front-end guys can take over and make it shine. I think it's important to have a website which is ready for the next five or ten years and which has not an old system behind it and is also future ready. The component-centric approach of Magnolia allows us to iterate our components, to add new features and to be more agile. If you don't have XML files to bootstrap every time and your delta is smaller and smaller, what can you ask for more?